Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Elgato's Stream Deck Mini. Now, if you're into gaming, obviously you're going to love this thing, but if you're into jailbreaking too, and you're into like customizing your device and doing that kind of stuff that I normally show here on the channel, you guys are also going to think this is pretty cool. This, in a way, is kind of like the activator for gaming, but we'll get more into that later. I did actually get this during Prime Day, as you can see by the stickers on the box. And this actually was on sale for $60, which is cheaper than what it's going for right now, which I believe it's going for around $80. Originally, it was going for around $100, and I had this on my radar for a little while, but I just did not think that $100 was worth it. I thought it was too expensive, and $60 was a nice happy medium. So here we have the Stream Deck Mini Box. It looks pretty cool. We're going to put that right over here. The nice part about this is it does support both Mac and Windows, so if you have a Mac computer, you won't be left out because I know there's a lot of people that use Windows computers for gaming, but if you want to use a Mac for a gaming setup or just for a streaming setup, you won't be left out, so that's super nice. And as a Mac user myself, I really do appreciate that. So the packaging here is kind of interesting. We can go ahead and just slide up that box here and we are presented with some documentation as well as the Stream Deck Mini itself. And that's pretty much all that's in the box. There's not that much setup required. You just plug it into a computer via USB and you're ready to go and configure all your keys to your liking. You do, however, have to download Elgato Stream Deck software, but it's free and you can download it via the link in the description. You can see we have documentation about the Stream Deck Mini itself over there and we have the Stream Deck Mini itself. It looks pretty nice. So Elgato does have other variations of the Stream Deck available, but they're going to run you a little bit higher of a price. You get more keys. There's six customizable physical keys, physical buttons here, and you can map them to a bunch of different things. Of course, it does connect via USB as well, and it actually surprised me how much you can customize this thing. Like I said earlier, it's a little bit like Activator. If you don't know what Activator is, basically it's a jailbreak tweak that lets you map out specific actions to different parts of your device. So if you press and hold on your home button, you can make your device do a certain thing. And that's what we have here in the physical sense. The Stream Deck Mini gives streamers six fully customizable LCD keys, so this way there's no more alt tabbing and you can focus directly on your audience. You can also personalize your keys with custom icons, and the Stream Deck Mini also supports platforms such as Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, as well as your favorite stream tools such as OBS and XSplit. As you can see, however, there's more options than just having OBS and XSplit scenes. You can set it to having custom hotkeys for your computer, you can make your very own soundboard, and you can even add an analog clock if you want to show you what time it is. One important thing to note is this device is not Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled. This means that if you unplug the device from the computer, you will not be able to have it function until you plug it back in. When the Stream Deck Mini came out, it was at a steep price of $100. But it seems as though these products tend to fluctuate in price. The Stream Deck Mini itself for Amazon Prime Day was just $60, and now it's back up to $80. But that's only for six keys. On Amazon, if you want to pick up the 15 key variant, you're going to be looking at almost $130. If you want to go up to 32 keys, that price nearly almost doubles to $250. If you don't have some extra change laying around, these prices might sound staggering to you for what you get. And well, that's because it is. If the Stream Deck Mini wasn't on sale for Amazon Prime Day for $60, I don't know that I would have bought it. If you think the Stream Deck Mini is really cool, I would definitely consider waiting until this drops in price because I personally don't think that this is worth the $80. But let me show you what other cool stuff this thing can do. Using the hotkeys feature with just one button press, I can open up Final Cut Pro and start my editing as well as opening up the record voiceover setting. So all I need to do is plug in my mic and hit record. The Stream Deck Mini is all about convenience. I also can have an automated tweet sent out just from pressing a button, but we'll get back to that later. If I hit the YouTube icon, I can now visit different YouTube channels just by clicking the button. So if I go ahead and hit the Apple Attack button in the middle, you can see it pulls up my YouTube channel on the fly right there. Switching OBS scenes with the Stream Deck Mini is a breeze. Simply just configure it in the software and map it to one of the buttons and you can see how easy it is. 
If you have an old computer, you also can place a CPU widget right there so you can see just how much your CPU is being taxed by streaming. Want to mess around a little bit with your friends? And his name is... Well, you can make your very own soundboards too. You also can have multiple profiles. So I have an editing profile. And if I click the notes button, you guys can see the notes app opens right up and I can start typing whatever I want to talk about. Whatever I want to talk about now becomes easy enough for me to hit one button to record and for me to hit one button to go ahead and pull up the notes app. In addition, I also have scrub left and scrub right buttons. So if I scrub left, you guys can see that it scrubs left in the video and I can go ahead and edit there, but if I scrub right, you guys could see it scrubs right in the video. This is the kind of thing that is definitely convenient to have and makes editing pretty interesting and pretty cool, but do I really need this for the price of 80 to $100 maybe, depending on whether the price goes up or down or fluctuates or whatever? Probably not. Like I said, I would wait until this goes down in price to definitely consider picking it up. Here in the software is where you can customize everything. I can also automate a tweet by setting it up in the software. So now with one hit of the button, I could tweet testing something cool, testing one, two, three. All I have to do is just press the button and there's my tweet, testing something cool, testing one, two, three. All there, all on the fly from the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. All of the shortcuts I did, everything like that. We're not gonna go over it a whole lot because I just spent a bunch of time talking about it already, but there's a bunch of customizability that the Stream Deck Mini can utilize. And that's kind of why I made the parallels between this versus Activator on a jailbroken iOS device. So is the Stream Deck Mini for you? I'll let you decide, but save your money, wait until it goes on sale again, and that's when you should buy it. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on. That way, you never miss out on a brand new video. What do you think about the Stream Deck Mini and all the cool things it could do? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, I started selling merch now. If you head over to teespring.com slash store slash jailbreak hub, you can pick from a selection of t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, but not all this stuff will be available forever. So make sure you click the link in the description to get your merch now. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, this is David, signing out. Have a good one, guys. Peace.